I yield the balance of my time to Mr. Gowdy. I thank the gentleman. Uh, Director Johnson, I don't want to beat a dead horse, um, but I do think it's important. The last time you and I talked, I, I wasn't 100 percent sure, uh, but I've since had it confirmed. The DNC never turned the server over to law enforcement. Um, so twice now you have said that uh, you could have camped out in front of the DNC, and I would say in defense of you, it wouldn't have made any difference if you had because uh, they weren't going to give you the server. So if you're investigating either from a law enforcement or from an intelligence standpoint, the hacking by a foreign hostile government, wouldn't you want the server? Wouldn't that help you, number one, identify who the attacker was? And if memory serves me, this was early in the summer of 2016 when we learned of the DNC hack. So if they had turned the server over to either you or Director Comey, maybe we would have known more, and maybe there would have been more for you to report. Uh, so I guess what I'm asking you is, why would the victim of a crime not turn over a server to the intelligence community or to law enforcement? I, I'm not going to argue with you, sir. Uh, that was a leading question, and I'll agree to be led. Jim, time has expired. Uh, Mr. Carson, five, seven minutes. 